Yo, 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 yo. Another day. So, my old Postmates bag, I can't, I'm not really going to talk about what happened to it, but it's gone. No big problem, I have this Postmates bag. And this one has the labels on both sides. My old bag only had the labels on one side. And my old bag felt nothing like this one. This one's like all new and hard. My old one was all broken in and, you know, lots of spills inside and stuff like that. So with this one, I'm actually just going to tape this out because y'all know that I do deliveries for multiple services. And even if I did do deliveries only for Postmates, I really wouldn't want to rock that, you know. I don't want people to know that I'm the Postmates guy. So I always cover these up. Even if it's like, even if it's caviar, I'll still cover it up, you know. I'll rock the shirts, but I don't want to rock the bags. Y'all think that's weird? You don't want... Do you guys not like to rock the labels sometimes? Because I don't want everyone to know I'm the, just that postman's delivery guy. Especially in the city. And if I was an employee, it'll be different. But I'm not an employee. I'm an independent contractor. And I just don't want to rock you guys on the streets. Who knows? Someone may want to take this bag from me because they know I work for Postmates. They may think, hey, there's something really valuable inside that bag. Like from some restaurant. So, that's why I always do these. And it doesn't take long. I'm not encouraging that you guys cover these up. Because I'm sure people know, hey, that guy works for Postmates when they see this tape right along these labels. So I'm not really hiding much. But this is the finished product. Ha ha. And ha ha. There we have it. Let go. On the bridge now, headed to the city. Whew, it has been one crazy afternoon. It's like 12, 16 now. And I took a nap. I took my pants off. I, I was wearing shorts and I took my shorts off to take a nap. And my girlfriend watched them, so when I woke up, I was looking for them. And I was like, dude, I really want to wear shorts because it's going to be wicked hot today. So right now I'm driving to the city and my shorts are wet. I didn't want to stick them in the dryer and spend all that time waiting on them to come out of the dryer. So I just grabbed them, put them on, wet, and now I'm off to the city. Looks like I'm going to jam caviar for now. I mean, Uber, the surge is popping on and off. But if it's surging, I'll definitely accept Uber requests. If it's not surging, I'll probably cut Uber off. That's how I'm going to play it today. They're still throwing some hourly guarantees out there, but it's 1.25 and 1.50, so they're not really big, and it's kind of iffy. I don't know if I'm really going to get paid. So I made that video yesterday talking about Uber drivers giving free rides. A lot of people have commented that they gave rides that said $0 yesterday as well. So I don't know. That's not really good. Just picked up the first caviar order, and this one is going to the Marina District. We'll have to see how today goes. Today is Father's Day too, so make sure you uh, call your father and wish him a happy Father's Day. Don't know what I was just thinking. I just dropped this last order off, and right before I dropped this order off, I accepted another order on caviar, which now I kind of want to just cut Uber on because I won't have to get in and out of the car, and it's after two, so there's not a lot of bonuses going on on caviar right now. But I'm gonna go knock out this order. This is definitely gonna be the last caviar order. At least until like 5 or 6 p.m. Time to go down to G. Just wanna make 100 bucks today, go back over to Oakland. But my thing is, I really wanna knock out an eye crack gig today, because that's the easiest way. But I don't think I'm gonna find someone who has a broken phone. That wasn't that ever very easy and convenient. I wish every order was like that. Here's the car. Just parked over here in this spot. Check it out. Just picked up this next order. This order is pretty tricky. It's in the bottom. It's in the bed. It's in the basement at Macy's. So you have to go all the way downstairs. And I parked super illegal. Sure hope I don't get a ticket, but it's Sunday. There's not a lot of people around and that's really what I'm banking on. I gotta figure out which door I came in so I can get out of here. I think I came this way. Yeah, let's keep walking. 
Ooh, look at all these pretty women in here. Damn, I should get a job up in here, dude. Or not. Here's the door. Hi. Hi. Finally made it to the car. How's so convenient? See, I parked super illegal. Like, you're not even supposed to cross the little yellow thing. But since it's Sunday, there's not a lot of parking mates working, so just gotta do the dirty. Right now it's 2.30, it's hella, so there's nothing going on. No jobs popping up on Caviar, no surge on Uber. So it's time for me to have a falafel, right? Perfect time for that. So right now it's like, it's pretty dang slow. And I know a lot of you guys are thinking, well, it's San Francisco, how can it be slow? How can it be slow? Well, I will say this, San Francisco, it's pretty busy. You can make really good money here, but San Francisco is not New York, okay? I'll repeat that one more time. San Francisco is not New York. There's what, less than 900,000 people living in San Francisco, and there's what, millions in New York? Like, I don't know exactly what the barrels are, but there's like eight million or something, three million or something like that. That's way more people way more people than San Francisco. There's probably, this, the same amount of people that are in San Francisco, that's probably just millionaires in New York. I've also noticed that Postmates in New York is like, it looks to be way busier than Postmates here. And that's really simple, like there's just more people there to order stuff. San Francisco, this city dies at like 2 a.m. Like you can't even buy alcohol past 2 a.m. New York, you can just go all night long. I remember doing phone repairs in New York at 2 o'clock in the morning, I was doing phone repairs. I've never done a phone repair at 2 o'clock in the morning in San Francisco. I mean, no one's even, even asked to do a phone repair that late, but in New York it's like, yo, I get off work at 1, can you come by at 2? And I'm like, yeah. And I show up there at 2 and it's like a freaking raging party going on outside their house. Time to eat, I haven't had lunch at this location in quite some time. It's been a really long time since I've had lunch here. Check it out. It's Sunday, so there's no one here. This is like this really busy office building with all these seating areas. Which the seating area is over there, but I don't want to go over there because my car is like, it's like illegally parked over here. So I want to sort of, you know, keep an eye on it while I eat at the same time. Yep, time to eat. I just figured it out. I just realized why this weekend is so dang slow. Well, next week is literally the busiest week in the city. And what's going on next week? It's Pride weekend. So I feel a lot of people are just not doing anything this weekend because there's so much stuff going on next weekend. Like, I mean, there is literally so much stuff going on next week. Not just next weekend, but just next week in general. Like, tomorrow should be a really good day. I think now I'm gonna head off, go back home, do some stuff around the house, because tomorrow should be pretty dang busy. And also this week is gonna be crazy because a lot of people leave town for Pride. Like, a lot of people don't like to stay in the city for Pride, so this, this is literally the best week to work, like this week coming up right now. Back in Oakland now, time for some Starbucks. Man, I left the city about an hour ago. The entire city was surging like crazy. Some parts of the city was like 3.9 surge. And I just decided to leave. I said, what's really going on? I figured out what's going on. There's um, a Warriors game going on tonight. I didn't plan on working Sunday night. So I kind of didn't want to stick around and drive anyway just because there's a really crazy surge. My plan is to go out tomorrow morning at 5 a.m., which is Monday morning and do all the airport rides and you know just work tomorrow so i don't really care i made a little bit of money today it wasn't the busiest day tomorrow will definitely be a better day but for now i'm gonna go to starbucks here have some coffee watch a few youtube videos and just take it easy chill out i have not one problem but two problems all of my saved music like on apple music how you can like like save songs and have them available offline they all disappeared so I'm like, crap, I just lost like all of my favorite songs for the past like two or three months, okay? So no big deal, like I have YouTube Red and I have a lot of songs saved offline with YouTube Red. Well today, 
just happened, all of my YouTube Red songs disappeared. So like I have like no music anymore, like <laughs> just like that, like all my music's gone. So I'm just kind of bummed out. Oh well, things happen. But anyway, I have a look at this, a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I got it all chopped up. It's good, ready to go. Is it focusing that? Yum yum yum. I still have my coffee from Starbucks too. I think I'm gonna call it a night. Have my peanut butter and jelly, and I don't know, maybe have some ice cream. But we'll do it all again tomorrow. Peace.